Hi, okay, today is actually Friday, July 20th, um, and I just wanted to share some updates with you. Now, in regards to um, <clears throat> racial profiling, um, I actually got a letter today from um, a CEO, President and CEO of um, what's called the uh, William Osler Health System. And um, in one of my videos, I spoke about the Etobicoke General Hospital and um, how they actually profiled individuals that were black. Very abusive, very abusive um, in their practices to just do things without asking people's permission. I have some problems with this policy, or it's not even a policy, but it's a reason to say that we can just take people and we can put our fingers on them and we can touch their bodies without asking them. And um, so I got a, a letter from um, the president and uh, he basically said, or she, okay, sorry, it's a he, um, basically said to fill out what he gave me and to forward it to um, a certain address. So I thought that was very, very helpful. And um, what was really good about the Etobicoke General is that um, they actually tell you what system governs the actual um, hospital. And it's called William Osler System. So I looked at this thing because, for example, Rachel Carson talks about this, um, I have to find the citation, but in her um, discussions around, um, you know, chemical contamination and bioaccumulation, she talks about even how there was a lot of problems with biomedical medicine. And uh, she makes a citation that actually connects you back to the origins of hospitals. And what they actually used to do was um, a lot of religion fraternities used to actually um, build these entities in places in Africa. And what they used to do was they used to get uh, black people as guinea pigs and they used to do things to their bodies. So that eventually evolved into something called a hospital. So when I actually got to Etobicoke General, when I realized, okay, something's wrong here because I'm not going to a hotel, I'm going somewhere else, um, I said to them, you know, I am non-religion and um, we're not supposed to be in hospitals. So they uh, bypassed that, they didn't even listen to that, and um, they were in very, very offensive. I even was saying, you look, people... I am non-religion, what am I doing in this place? What is this place? They could have taken me to someone's basement and done stuff to me. You know, they talk about um, people spiking people's drinks and stuff and, you know, to be careful. Well, when you spike a person's drink, how is that any different from someone spiking your physiology? And these are the types of things that need to be discussed in front of a judge so that the judge can actually look at the stuff and say, what the fuck is this? I actually got this letter back from um, the William Osler Health System, which was awesome. And you know what? Ironically, uh, another hospital called me back today, and that was St. Joseph's, and they gave me the names of these two doctors. Now, I don't know if they're actually legitimate, but I'll give you their names. They're actually, um, hold on, Dr. Dr. Mike Falcioni, that sounds Italian and Dr. Stephen Ree. I don't even know who these people are. And um, I asked the female from St. Joseph, Joseph's what the date was. And she said, oh, she didn't have the date, but she just found the name of the doctors. Now, what I recall from when I uh, was in St. Joseph's, I was like, what the fuck is this, right? And, you know, I was looking around. I'm like, okay, when the hell am I going to get out, right? And it was actually a female doctor that I dealt with. It was, it was a white female and she had like an Australian accent. So I don't know what these doctors are doing and I was talking to someone today and they brought up the name of this pathologist who was actually um, arrested in um, Ontario and what he used to do was he used to do all like the death reporting so if like a baby died or whatever he would do the reporting and what he was doing was he was actually saying that even the parents kill their own child and based on that report it totally totally destroyed people's lives well they found out that he was actually uh, fabricating stuff and he had received awards he, I think he was trained in Saskatchewan and Caucasian male and um, they said he can't practice anymore but he still has his livelihood 
and he's messed up a lot of people. So it's the same idea. Medicalization has to be taken very, very seriously. So I'm looking into this Osler system, and I'm saying to myself, like, what the fuck is, like, what is this William Osler? Who is this person? Can I write this person? But this was actually somebody who, based on just my preliminary reading, he came up with this uh, discourse of how to um, practice medicine. But he took it from a European and English and German perspective. And um, when I saw German, I was like, wow, that's pretty fucking offensive. Because, for example, the uh, Third Reich and Hitler's group, what they used to do was they used to actually go into places of Africa. And they used to um, take um, people from tribes and they used to behead them. And they used to do a lot of experimentation on their bodies. And they were trying to write this uh, genetic discourse. And this way of doing things was based on some kind of, um, it was a theory that basically told them that a way to dominate is based on this. But they had no ability to actually critically think. And when it comes to academic discourse, it's very, very, very dangerous because if you don't actually add your ethics, then what could happen is, for example, what Hitler's group was doing was um, they were just writing up all this stuff, and I, I'd like to see their medical records on all those um, dead bodies. And I actually have uh, pictures of them.